Okay, so for this, uh, seriously, this is supposed to be a meta team? Uh, for this meta team right here, I thought I would try a clone dance combo with Bone Shard with using two non-traditional uh, clone dance pets with Infinite Hatchling and Pump Jellyfish. For reasons, uh, Infinite Hatchling, I got it recently when the new Mist of Pandaria time walking thing came out, so I thought I would try him out because he actually has decent attack power and a Cyclone. There are other pets who also have decent attack power and a Cyclone exactly like him uh, that are probably a little bit better, but I wanted to see how Temporal Anomaly would work out since it's basically a debuff for your opponent's team of 25% for 9 rounds. It's not as good as Dazzling Dance, I'm gonna be honest, but it's it's a neat little alternative to it. <laughs> uh, and then I just had Breath. I probably could have could have gone for Tail Sweep. I thought, you know, if I had Temporal Anomaly, I'll probably be faster than my opponent, so uh, I should probably use Breath instead of Tail Sweep, since I'll most likely be faster than my opponent, which was not the case. Uh, turns out, meta pets these days are all very fast. And a 25% decrease is not good enough for a pet with only 244 speed to go first. Uh, Plump Jellyfish, the reason I wanted to use him was because Obviously, he has Rain Dance, which you need for the Cyclone combo. Uh, and Squeeze, which I thought would be really good with Rain Dance, since uh, the best abilities that, like, buff up your next move, like Rain Dance or, like, Overpowered or stuff like that, or Wind Up, no, not Wind Up, Supercharge, are best used on abilities which have really long cooldowns and just do a lot of upfront damage, which Squeeze has. It does a lot of single target damage, has a four round cooldown and slows him by 50% for two rounds. Uh, so I thought Rain Dance would be perfect for that. Uh, I didn't get a single crit on any of my squeezes with Rain Dance up. Spoilers for the next three matches you'll see. Uh, so that he was just kind of a, a lesser Jade Mist Dancer. But he could have been better. I thought he might, but uh, he's, he's also not very good against uh, the Tarot Claw Hatchling meta. And then Bone Shard, I just wanted to use him to see how he'd work out. Uh, I probably shouldn't have used him in an experimental clone dance team, but I thought it would work out a lot better than it did. Uh, Bone Shard, he just uses Bone Storm three times in a row. I didn't take his other two things. Pretty self-explanatory. Alright, pet battle time. This team right here looks really good. Oh no. Not good for me. I wonder if I can actually get off Temporal Anomaly even through a haunt. Come on, use it! Noise! I didn't know if that would work or not. I'm pretty sure it's not on the Wicked Soul since it's a debuff on the entire team. Huh. We have the same speed now. Is he gonna try to switch me out? I think I should probably go for a Cyclone just in case. In case he tries to switch me out. In which case, this is not half bad alternative. Uh, I'll use Rain Dance here and then just switch out. Is he still faster than me? Is he going to try to put up a nature's ward? He's probably going to try to attack me. So in that case, I should probably go into... Hmm, Bone Shard's not really going to work with the Wicked Soul dead in the back row. I have two more turns before Haunt comes up. I'm going to have to say Bone Shard for that. So Infinite Hatchling probably has the best matchup against the Tarot Claw. Since I take less damage from the Alpha Strike. And the clone dance isn't really going to do much either, since one of his pets is dead. I took a lot more damage than I thought I would. <laughs> Come on, Cyclone, hit both of his pets. Hit everything. Okay, now we got the Bone Shard. Triple AoE. Is he going to go for the dodges finally? I only have two more rounds of Cyclone. I have one pet alive in the back row, one dead. And Bone Shard is going to kick the bucket very soon. What I should do is wait a turn for uh, his dodge to come off cooldown, since I'm going to die anyway. And I don't have any other abilities to use. Stupid Cyclone, of course you would go right there. Alright, Bone Shard, we got this. I just got to use these two abilities, which will kill me. 100%. I guess he has to decide whether or not to switch out or something. His team is a lot faster than mine. 
And mine isn't really made to go against top tier teams like this. Ooh, I'll be able to get off one more bone shard while I'm dead. I didn't think that would happen just by skipping a turn. I plan on dying right here anyway, so. <laughs> oh, Terra Claw. Your fight was in vain. And then I get off one more Bone Storm before kicking the bucket. For a total of four Bone Storms. Is four Bone Storms really going to do that much AoE damage? Doesn't look like it. And he switched out. Is this a water type pet? Yes, it is. Is he still slowed? A power speed breed? I just assumed all wicked souls were speed speed. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Squeeze is enough to kill it if it lands. Oh, he went for a dot. What? <laughs> did I do my math wrong? <laughs> yes, obviously I did. Oh my god, I can't believe I missed that up. Terraclaw Hatchling has already almost healed through all of the Bone Storm damage. This team is in a f not very effective, it seems. Alright, I'm just going to use this turn to rain dance, I guess. And then get my ass handed to me by the Terra Claw Hatchling. Who will probably just alpha strike me a couple of times until I kick the bucket. Or until I'm able to get off a squeeze. In which case he'll probably dodge it or something. Although if he was smart, he'd use his dodge now while I have Rain Dance up. <clears throat> Never mind. I I underestimated how much that Alpha Strike would hurt. Turns out it hurts a lot, and I didn't crit, which is really bad. Okie dokes, I'm dead. I was already like super dead anyway, since I couldn't do anything against the broom. And that Alpha Strike hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Okay, so this team is not doing as good as I thought it would, and I didn't have high expectations for it in the first place. Wow, another Wicked Soul Switch Out team? Are you sure this isn't just the same guy using different pets? It probably is. Um... Hmm. It's nice to learn what the new meta is. Looks like it's Wicked Soul Switch Out. Luckily I know for sure Temporal Anomaly goes off, but none of my pets are actually fast enough to take advantage of that. Except for maybe the Bone Shard? Man, Infinite Hatchling, you're super slow. Should I try to predict the Nether Gate and switch into something else? Nah, I'll just let him do it. So we got the pump jelly out now, who's fast. Um. Hmm. He has one pet dead in the back row. This guy's an AoEer. This one's an AoEer as well. Pump jelly is probably my biggest chance of doing something useful. So let's just go for it. And just slap him a few times with my tentacles while he has reduced speed somewhat I'm going to save rain dance for his dodge for the predictable dodge so I'm gonna use it now because I know this is gonna hurt infinite hatchling nearly died in the back row from a single haunt it's not very good <laughs> not for me anyway ooh I do bonus damage to him now this is pretty neat Especially since I now have Squeeze off cooldown. Uh, he still has reduced speed for two more turns once I'm faster than him. He's basically dead unless he switches out. Which is what he'll probably do since that's what I would do in this situation. And if he's playing this team that means he probably knows something about pet battle since uh, this isn't exactly an easy team to play. I mean, everybody knows Tarot Claw Hatchling is one of the best pets, but not everybody knows how to use him effectively. Wow, he healed up a lot. I didn't think Wicked Soul would be able to heal up so much. Holy crap. Okay, Bone Shard. Now it's your turn to go do something useful by attacking the back row. 
stupid haunt to dodge teams. Is that the new meta? If it is, I know how to counter it. It seems last time I did this, the best course of action was literally just to skip a turn and then bone shard two more times. It looks like he's gonna switch me out instead. He can probably kill me right here. So let's go for Temporal Anomaly. Be faster than him. I'm dead. That crit hurt. Quite a bit. Okay, so let's go for a Bone Shard. This will kill me and then I can only use one more. And this is another lost match. So, how about I just forfeit? And instead, I'll create an anti uh, haunt dodge combo team and see how that works out. Alright, this team doesn't do very good against this one either, but it's not half bad as well. So I guess I'll just go straight into Cyclone and then pump Jellyfish and just do everything like normal. Because it looks like he's just going to go into Stone form to start off. Which is great. It allows me to set up everything. He's just going to be stunned for three turns. Just healing up through all of my damage. It's something you use uh, usually like at the end of the turn. I mean when you're like low on health, not to start off the match with. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll just go into a couple of hits. Hopefully I can get something off of my rain dance. Come on, get something good. Don't dodge it. Oh, ho, 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 that hurt. <laughs> that hurt him, not me. <laughs> I should have been more specific. Alright, um, Sandstorm super sucks for this kind of team. So I'm just going to go into it anyway, just keep trying. I'm going to try my best. And just go into the triple bone storm to see if it will do effective damage regardless. Oh man, that is not good damage at all. Alright, so... Let's see, my usual strategy for this is to skip a turn and then do the next two. But I'm probably going to die without really accomplishing anything before I can even do that, so I might as well just do this. Oh. Oh, I lived one extra turn. Well then. That was surprising. Time for one last bone storm to hit him in the back row. Oh, nice. He lost a turn switching out. I guess this isn't a complete waste of time. Uh, I can't do anything this turn though, so I'm just gonna hang tight since he's going to stack up his arcane blast on me, it seems. Uh, and then, should I lower his speed? Um, I should be faster than him on my jellyfish. And then the grotesque, but not this guy. Does he have something that really needs speed? He does have dodge. I might, I might want to slow him down just in case, but at the same time, I should just go for breaths and not worry about it since it's not a major speed decrease anyway and I think the damage would be more helpful in this situation which it was since it looks like I worried about a dodge for nothing okay now we got the grotesque um, Last time he just went straight into stone form, so I'm gonna go into pump jellyfish in anticipation of him doing that again. No, that is not something he did. Okay, I'm gonna go into rain dance then and then use squeeze. Oh. Well, I should probably save squeeze because this actually heals up for quite a bit. Oh, only 400? I thought it healed. I think it's showing less because it's saying how much damage it would do to me. That, That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. Crit. No crits. You just heal it all back up. Okay, well, I take less damage from his thing anyway. 
Uh, I'm just gonna keep slapping them because why not? You don't want to not do damage even if they're gonna heal through it all. Plus I have a nice type advantage against him. It's on a five turn cooldown so I have five turns to kill him with a type advantage and one more pet alive in the back row who has a type disadvantage for damage against him. I'm feeling confident that I should be able to come out of this on top. Uh, especially if this crits. Come on, rain dance, give me a single crit. I have a more than 50% chance to crit right now. But it's not 100%, I guess. And if it's not 100%, then there's a good chance it's not going to happen because of pet battles. Okay, so... Uh, that's it for this team. Final conclusions for Clone Dance Bone Shard. Uh, it's not a good team. Uh, that's kind of what I expected. I just kind of wanted to see how it would work out. I went against two meta teams in a row and lost pretty hard to both of them. And then I went against a non-meta team with some decent pets, but he made questionable decisions and I was able to come out on top. Uh, so two and one, not half bad for a, a weird team.